I'm not sure what the magic ingredient is, but there's something that happens to people when they work at Penn State that uh, sort of changes them a little bit. And they always relate so well back. They're always proud of their experience here. I think the road here was uh, always one with challenges in terms of the research. And so I was always intrigued by the field itself. I think ceramics is always the ultimate challenge because everyone knows ceramics are brittle. They break into lots of small pieces. One of the unusual things you can do with ceramics is actually to use their hardness as ceramic armor. Ask yourself the question, well, what makes the best armor? Is it this material or that material or some other material? And so we're working on a project with the Army that's trying to develop techniques to say, if we measure this property or this property, will that tell us whether this is a good armor material or not? So it's trying to come up with tests so we can make improved armor materials by finding out what are the key parameters in controlling their effectiveness. We're trying to make things more reliable, more safe, and in some ways this means we've got to come up with better materials. And so I think the students themselves start to learn quite quickly that this is a pretty dynamic situation. There's a real challenge here in this field. It was like the cartoon on the, on, on the door there. Please Dr. Green, my brain is full. My name is David Green. Um, I'm a professor of ceramic science and engineering and my field of research is the fracture of brittle materials.